If you're looking for another great sticker product to create and sell, or you're a planner girl like me, you are definitely going to want to check out this tutorial because today I'm showing you how to make planner stickers and word stickers with a border quickly and easily in Canva. So without further ado, I've said this before, but planner stickers really are one of my favorite things to create in Canva. I always start my day with journaling and my custom daily planner. I love to add planner stickers, washi tape, and pretty things to dress it up and really let my creativity flow. It just starts my day off in a good and positive way. Plus, this is a fantastic digital product that you can create and sell. You can hop over to Etsy to get some inspiration. Don't copy anybody, but do get inspired. And I do want to say that this process does require a pro account, but I'll include a link in the description for a free 30 day trial of Canva Pro. I've already opened my artboard to my preferred eight and a half by 11 inch size. And if you want to know how to create a custom size artboard, I'll include a link to this video in the description that will show you how to do that. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change my white background to a color background so that when I create a white border, I can clearly see it. The first sticker we're going to create is one that will be on a shape so that the border will be around the shape instead of the image itself. Let's go to elements, go to lines and shapes. And I'm going to add a circle and it pops in this dark purple color and I want it to be white. So I'll just quickly change the color and make this a little bigger so that it's easier for you to see. And then I'm going to go to my graphic. I'm going to add this. And if the box seems a little big, just pull it in on the sides. It just makes it easier to work with, in my opinion. I'm going to shrink down this graphic just a little bit. I'm going to set it in the circle. And while it's still selected, I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to select the circle, go position, center, and middle. And now it's right in the middle of the circle where I want it. And this is the part of the process that requires the Canva Pro account. So we're going to go to the share button, go to download. We're going to leave this as a PNG and we're going to click transparent background and then download it. When it downloads, you will only have the white circle and the graphic. You will not have the gray background. So then once you've downloaded it, you want to upload it back into Canva. And if you need to learn how to do that, I'll link this video in the description below to show you how to do that. Now I've already uploaded mine, so I'm going to add it to my artboard and just shrink this box down just a little bit. Just makes it a little easier to work with and I'll make it bigger so that you can see what we're doing. And now while it's selected, we're going to go to edit image. We're going to go to shadows. We're going to select glow and then we're going to edit the glow with these three little bars. Click that to go into the edit menu. Increase the size, then you're going to take your transparency all the way up and take your blur all the way down. And now you have a black border. If you want to change the color, you can click on the color box to change it. I'm going to stick with the black. Click apply, give Canva a minute to do its magic, and then shrink your graphic down to the size that you want your sticker to be and pull it up to the top of your sticker sheet. And there's our first sticker. Now for our second sticker, I'm going to add this graphic and I'm not going to put it on a shaped background. So I'm going to go to edit image, choose shadows, go to glow, glow edit menu, increase the size. Now this has a lot of little fine details on the outer edges. So I'm going to make shadow a little bit bigger than I did on the first one, just to make it easier to cut out. Then I'm going to take the transparency all the way up, blur all the way down. And for this one, we're going to go to the color block and we're going to change it to white. And then we'll click apply, let Canva do its magic, and then shrink your sticker down to the size that you want it. Pull it up to the top of your sticker sheet. There's your second sticker with a white border. If you're finding this video helpful, please hit the like button, 
subscribe, and tap that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever a new tutorial is published. Now let's do a word sticker, or it's often called a script sticker. So for this one, I'm going to add a page. I'm going to make it white and then go to text, add a text box, make it a little bigger so you can see, type in what you want this text box to say, and we will change the font, get bigger, and then I wanna change the color, gold up, and then we're gonna go back to text, and we're going to click add a heading again, and I'm going to make this bigger, and then I wanna change this font too, going to pull this down just a little bit over and then I'm going to pull this up so that it kind of fits in right where I want it. So you want to get your spacing and your sizing just the way you want it. Now I do want to add an element to this. I'm going to go back and I'm going to add this gold arrow and shrink down this box to make it easier to work with. So it looks like it's already in behind this one. So we're going to send this to the back so that we can get to this element and I'm going to stretch it out exactly the way I want it for the placing. So then I'm going to select this box again and I'm going to bring it to the front. Just to make sure that everything stays where I want it, I'm going to go on and group it together. And then we're going to repeat the process to download it. Go to share, go to download, leave it as a PNG and click transparent background and then download it. And you do want to re-upload this, which I've already done. So I'm gonna click on that and add it to the artboard. And then I'm gonna go to Edit Image. I'm gonna click on Shadows, Glow. Go into the Glow Edit menu. I'm gonna increase the size. I'm gonna take the transparency all the way up, blur all the way down. And for this one, I'm going to change it to white and then click Apply. And once Canva has worked its magic, you just shrink it down and put it where you want it on your sticker sheet. And that, my friends, is how easy it is to make stickers with borders in Canva. I hope you found this tutorial fun and helpful. Please be sure to give it a like and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any tutorials. You'll find a link in the description for that free 30-day trial of Canva Pro, which you'll need to make these stickers. You'll also find a link to my 223 Canva Elements Keywords eBook to help you find some amazing hidden elements in Canva. Plus, I'm getting ready to launch my new Design Boss Academy for Canva courses. These are going to be in-depth Canva courses to learn it all with different class options available. And in some cases, class sizes will be limited. So you want to go on and get on that wait list now. I'll be back next week with another tutorial. And until then, make it a wonderful week and enjoy your Canva. Mm -hmm.